Um, it, it was very new to me um, when, I, when I tried first time. It was like a, this was like a different world. I was thinking, well, how, how, can I, how can I feel in these gloves? How the hell am I supposed to feel something now? And then, then the vibrations came and it was something I totally didn't expect. Well, art is not always explainable just by words. The element to touch it and to know, to, to feel it is, is like missing. When first uh, touching the, the virtual statue, I was, I was kind of puzzled, like it actually works. And that, um, yeah, that, that there's something in front of me that, that is existing. Usually when you come to a museum, you can't touch these things. So I can just hear about it from a guide or from somebody who's with me, reading that or then that, that's not a full experience. Shouldn't be. But the best moment was, of course, when I started to have an idea what's, uh, what's uh, like, what part of the body I'm touching, and have the have the art in front of you and can explore it and see how much your imaginations are were right, what you wouldn't expect. For example, about David, like, yeah, I knew that this guy will have a big, big head, but that it's this big, or I. I recognized the dress of Venus of Milo. I said, like, this is the dress, and they said, yes, all right. <laughs> so it was the, the greatest. The entire experience, and this is something that adds this element which, was, which is missing, which, which was missing um, before. That you can see it, really, and know, what, what, know the beauty of the, the art. And, Touch it.